by the introduction is help you start a Buick V6 3.8 litre outside the vehicle. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about it. In this video I'm going to show you a very basic way to do it. This is by no means everything that you could use like the warning lights and um, having all your speedo and dash and everything working. Um, this is just basically starting the motor, the very bare minimum you need to start the motor. Um, there's another way to do it if you set it up as a conversion, you can use aftermarket gauges. Um, yeah, but I'll get into it and show you all you need really. We'll walk around, have a quick look. Um, you'll need the motor obviously. Um, depending on how you pull it out, what harness, like if you pull out the the um, battery side of the harness and everything as well. Um, I rebuilt this engine not long ago so it's basically just got the engine harness on it and that's it. Um, where the harness pulls through the firewall. So basically it's still plugged into everything, all your sensors, everything are plugged in as per normal, injectors, the whole lot. DFI, um, ECU plugged in, that's the plug underneath the dash that goes to the dash harness. Um, then you've got the other plugs over here which plug into the body basically at the fuse box near the battery. Um, fuel pump, you just, you'll just need an external fuel pump, a fuel ejection pump for the purposes of just idling it or running it on an engine stand. I wouldn't go too stressed on flow rates or whatever else, just as long as it's a high pressure pump for fuel injection. Um, obviously run that to the inlet side and then you just need a return off your fuel pressure reg back into whatever you're using as a fuel tank. I've just got an old Jerry that I just use um, whenever I'm starting them up. Other, other than that, battery, you'll need a, a, a large diameter earth off the block you can use the old earth obviously originally that was bolted to the motor in the car um, same with this side the starter motor side there's usually a harness that's already there that runs around the bottom of the sump which you can leave on there and use for this like I said I rebuilt this so I pulled all those harnesses off so I've just used other cabling um, so obviously a, pos uh, a main power to your starter motor and then the the trigger wire for the starter motor um, and then you just need th probably three other lengths of wire I've terminated these already and everything for the purposes of the video just to make things a bit easier um, obviously a dual core there for the fuel pump as well um, so basically yeah we'll just, we'll just hook it up and I'll show you what you need to hook up so, um, the dash harness, so the plug at the dash harness, if you have a look at the back there, you can see pink wire at the bottom of the plug on the right, well, right hand side looking at it, so that's the bottom, bottom one right there. So we need a 12 volt source to that. Um, and then the only other two you'll need is in this plug, in the black plug. So it'll be the two bottom wires, the two red wires on each end will also need a um, 12 volt source. So the one, the one on the left looking at the plug, so the bottom left over here, if you were going to set it up properly you would set that up with a continuous 12 volt source all the time. Um, and then the other side would be a switch 12 volt source, so obviously like off a relay. Um, and then above that, on this side, um, that is your fuel pump signal. So you could send that to a relay to trigger the fuel pump to start up like it normally would, like with a prime and then start the, start the motor, um, which you'll see in the start of the video, which 
I use my box for. So I've made my own system that I can just plug in using factory plugs and everything um, to start these engines up. Um, you don't need to worry about this plug at all for the purposes of just starting the motor. Um, I think that's about it that I need to explain so I'll throw it all together and show you that it works. Right, back again, as you can see, all I've done is, so, we've got the wire going to the pink, bottom pink, bottom right hand corner. So we've got wire going, they're all just bunched together, the same here. So the two bottom red wires coming out, all just bunched together. Like I said, this is only just a very rough way of doing it. To show, you know, like if you just want to fire something up quickly. Um, I've also got the fuel pump hardwired as well, so it's just twitched in as well. Um, and then the, the um, trigger wire for the starter motor, um, just out free in the open. So we'll um, quickly throw it together if I can hold the camera at the same time. Everything together. You can hear the fuel pump running because it's constantly powered and then trigger. basic way of doing it I'll um I'll probably pack all this rough stuff up and I'll show you my box as well just quickly but it's just a basic setup too it's just a button with um a switch and a couple of relays in it just so that the fuel pump primes properly and everything um but I use it to start motors outside the car all the time but yeah I'll be back with you shortly hey guys I'm back again um so probably should have mentioned earlier, which I don't know if I did mention or not. I do this with VN VP engines, so I'm not sure if it'll work with any others. Like, I'm sure it's something similar for Ecotech and VR and such and such, but this is by no means how you do it with them. This is VN VP only. Um, and I'm sure that they'll, you would have to get probably bats removed or something in probably VS onwards. Um, so, also too, we'll, um, I don't know if I mentioned as well, so if you're setting it up properly, the um, plug at the ECU, the pink wire, so this is, it's the bottom right pink wire there, you want that to be on a switched 12 volt source if you were setting it up permanently for like a conversion or something like that. Switch 12 volt to that one. Um, and also this one bottom right is switch 12 volt as well and left bottom is a um, continuous 12 volt source um, and then the one above that which would be the green one is your fuel pump signal so you can send that to a relay to trigger the fuel pump. Um, so as I was saying earlier, this is like my little setup that I use to start these engines. So essentially it's just a little tackle box, a couple of relays inside it, nothing special. Like I said, I've just wired it up. So you got a switch push button, a couple of relays to trigger the, the, um, the uh, fuel pump and the um, switch 12 volt sources. And that's it it's very basic but I've used factory plugs so that I can plug it straight into like factory harnesses so I can just you know plug into any motor and start it up um, and then yeah I just basically pull all this off the wiring etc pull it off and wrap it up and store it inside the box and that way it's just inside a box that can be carried around and the only other thing you've got to worry about then is your um, your fuel fuel pump setup but yeah, as you would have seen it in the start of the video run, but 
I'll um, quickly hit it again and show you the setup. So you'll listen to, if you listen, you'll hear the fuel pump start and stop like it normally would in the factory car. There you go. That's about it. Um, if you do have any questions, um, throw them in there in the comments. If I'll, um, I'll try and answer what I can. Right, so I just want to um, apologise. There's a lot of jumping around in, during the video. Um, it's my first time doing this. Um, but yeah, I hope you get some useful information out of it. And um, yeah, helps you out in some way.